Welcome, Rickabore. Once upon a time, we all were a little wild one, with big dreams that we promised ourselves to make real one day. Remember? We were fascinated by magic, miracles, and big visions, whereas as grown-ups, we often fear the unknown. But since when do, did we lost the point where magic and the unknown are the same? So this is for the eight-year-old versions of ourselves. This is about how to escape the ordinary comfort zone of our adult minds and remember our wild, our playful nature with which we can transcend the limits of our everyday life. Of course, all of us are adults and we have our experiences, our wisdom, and we know that life isn't always that easy, but already as kids, we knew what life is all about, that we all have the potential to do and be whatever we want to be. We just forget sometimes as grown-ups to listen to these inner voices. And we can do that wherever we come from. I mean, I myself, I'm a second generation immigrant and my grandparents escaped from a torn environment. But I was always a very wild child, climbing trees in the forests and reading every book that came to my mind. But still, me too, I was starting to live a very conformed life. You know, going to school and trying not to stand out too much. I even faked some mistakes in my exams in order not to attract attention. And focusing on my intellect a lot. I was the first one studying in my whole family. Um, I had a cool job as a scientist very, very early. And I was working in a beautiful environment, had a cool designer apartment. So it was a really beautifully nice, not unhappy life. But on the inside, my inner wild one, she was really protesting and she wanted me to run free and get crazy again, to do and express what it is that really makes me happy instead of what makes me just not unhappy. And that made all the difference focusing on what really makes me happy instead of what doesn't make me unhappy. Because, you know, here's the thing. A person who is happy feels. And a person who is unhappy thinks. <laughs> who is happy feels and who is unhappy thinks. And as children, we were so much more connected to our feelings. We knew exactly what it is that made us feel alive. And as grown-ups, we know it as well, but often we just don't take the first step. But for now, ask yourself, what is it that really makes you feel alive? What is it that I want to do with my one precious wild life? You know, mistakes and failure, they're a part of life. In fact, to tell you the truth, around three out of five of my own projects don't work out really perfectly. But so what? We're all creative geniuses. We have more ideas than time. We have more talent than we can ever realize. And we're all makers. So go for it. Find what it is that makes you really happy instead of just not unhappy and do it. Either it works out or it doesn't. That's life. That's creation. Just go with the flow. And, you know, don't care about too much if it's the right time or the right moment, you know. It's totally normal, and I know sometimes we lose our directions, we get confused in the hurricane of our everyday life, of our dramas, and they pull us through life. But whenever fate knocks on our doors and tells us, you cannot escape this storm, you can choose to stay in the fear of the unknown or to tap into the wisdom of your inner wise one that picks up its wooden sword, climbs a tree, and replies, huh? I cannot escape the storm, I am the storm. And you know what? Just step out of this maybe zone every once in a while. As kids, we didn't have that at all. As kids, we were either full in or full out. And my youngest cousin, Milena, she's always reminding me about that. Because with the same enthusiasm with which, you know, TV shopping channels try to sell us their projects, products, she's so into everything she does. She's like, yeah, let's go to the supermarket, buy toilet paper, and yoo let's clean the cat litter box. It's really amazing, and it's so cool. 
And another thing, she doesn't think too much about what other people say about her or think about her. And this is what I call the wild child policy. And the wild child policy says that whatever you do, independently of your actions, there will always be an equal amount of people who both like and dislike your actions. So there will be always around one third of people around you who find everything you do amazing, cool, and really lovely, no matter what. And then there will be another third of people, and these people don't care at all if you follow your dreams or if you stay in the most stinky comfort zone all your life. And another third of people around you, they will find anything you do just ridiculous and stupid. So just don't care about too much what other people say. Escape your everyday comfort zones. Listen to the voice of your inner wild one. Play more, dare more, trust more. And break the habits of the grown-up mind. You know, it's starting with the little things, like changing the order of your silverware at home. And every time you pick up a fork instead of a knife accidentally, remember the dreams of your inner little one. And start now, you know, it's time. Not tomorrow, not next week, but now. There to show us your special greatness and features. You know, your life really is your choice. I mean, show us how beautiful you really are on the inside. And then you're going to live wildly ever after. Thank you. <laughs>